كلية الصحة العامة وشهادة الماستر في اختصاصات عديدة ويسرني أن يحضر بيننا معالي وزير التربية الوطنية للسلياس الصعب وهو صاحب الأيادي البيضاء في مجالات التعليم في لبنان والبلاد العربية ويسرني أن يشاركنا فرحة تسليم الشهادات للخريجين وأن يلقي كلمة الختام في احتفالنا اليوم اسمحوا لي أن أتوجه إلى ضيوفنا في الولايات المتحدة وهولندا وبلجيكا باللغة الإنجليزية I'm thrilled to welcome among us today the Assistant Vice Chancellor for Global Affairs at the State University of New York, Mrs. Sally Crimmins Vilela. In view of our profound relationship that has expressed itself in a unique affiliation between our systems, it is only right that you, Sally, are our guest speaker today. Thanks to you, Sally, the limits of our engagement have gone far beyond the casual university to the university partnership. We are at a stage today where SUNY supports AKU and the self-study that will lead us in the near future to a full-blown accreditation from one of the leading agencies in the United States. I said this to you many times, and I will say it again. We, as trustees of this university, look at AKU and SUNY as SUNY Mediterranean and congratulate both of us and both of our staff for the excellent achievements born to this day. We now embark on a new project in another area of service where Al Kafaat has left its marks, health related professions. Our intention is to start a new faculty where leading colleges at SUNY, fine institutions in Holland and Belgium and AKU form together a unique consortium and where experiential learning lends itself to help the people, to heal the sick, to give care to the most fragile and needy, and to sustain the social welfare of Lebanon. I salute SUNY Downstate and its fine Brooklyn Hospital, Nassau Community College, and its outstanding faculty of nursing. Delgin College in Holland and its unique health sector. Vogelanden in Holland with its start state-of-the-art rehabilitation services. Actec in Belgium and Al Kafaat Foundation in Holland for their outstanding administrative support. The impact of our joint programming on the local community is turning clear and obvious today. For that, I look at you, Sally, Ken Saunders, Cord Jicks, Fena Efting, and Daniel Turell, and I look at SUNY, Delgin, Vogelanden, and Actec as friends of Lebanon and as partners in building the capacities of our youth and in dignity, in social responsibility, and with a sense of belonging to a righteous global community. It has been five years since the first, first spark, since AKU and SUNY decided to join forces, because it all started with Nassau Community College, and because Nassau has been active all through the five years, instituting program on program, and because you, Ken Saunders, as president of SUNY Nassau, have been frontline in pushing for these programs with tenacity and decisiveness, you were the obvious choice for this year's 
insignia, which is our board of trustees, is an honor to bestow upon you. Ken, you are among the finest, a man of thought, and one who thinks as a man of action. Your contribution is well noted and will be inscribed for as long as God allows in the book of achievements of this university. May I finally turn to our graduates and say to their hearing, God be with you as you go your own way and keep at heart the mission of Al Kafaat University that says, build your life in truth. Thank you. As the ESL coordinator, the manager at AKU of the English Proficiency Program, which is governed by the State University of New York, and whose first batch of successful students sits with us today, I take pride in introducing the guest speaker for this year's commencement ceremony. Sally Crimens Vilela, the Assistant Vice Chancellor for Global Affairs. In her position, she oversees the international relations of the State University of New York across the world. Professor Awad spoke of Sally's commitment that has transpired across the many actions she has endorsed, actions which brought together our faculties with many SUNY colleges, as in the case of the ESL program, which I personally oversee. We, therefore, wear proudly the affiliation with SUNY on our coat of arms as a testimony of a system-to-system -system engagement that was built on solid ground over the last five years. Sally Crimens Villela, Madam Assistant Vice Chancellor for Global Affairs, the floor is yours. Thank you for those kind words. And let me tell you, I am delighted to be with you here tonight at the beautiful Al Kafaat University, also known, I hear, from the board chair as SUNY on the Mediterranean. I like that. Um, good evening. Thank you for having me. I'm delighted to be here with all of you graduates, all of you, and with your families, with the faculty and the staff of Al Kafaat University, and with my colleagues from three different SUNY campuses, as you've heard, from Nassau Community College, from SUNY Downstate Medical Center, and from SUNY New Paltz. And it's also an honor and a pleasure for me to be joined as well by our friends from Deltian College, from Vonga London, an organization in Holland, and from Al Kafaat Foundation in Holland as well. Also, we have with us the Association for Cultural and Technical Education and Cooperation, also known as ACTEC in Belgium. And I know that I can speak for our colleagues from the State University of New York, and all of our partners, when I say we're thrilled and honored to be here today. We at SUNY are extremely proud of our partnership with Al Kafaat University. And for this, we would like to thank our kind host and tireless collaborator and constant inspiration, Mr. Raif Shuidi. I would also like to thank AKU president and very kind partner, Dr. Fatih Aweida. And the president of the AKU board of trustees, Dr. Ramez Awad. I'd like to thank as well all of the members of the AKU board. And 
It is our honor to be accompanied this evening by the Minister of Education, Mr. Elias Busab. Thank you. So you see, we have a rather distinguished and international group here to celebrate this momentous occasion, to celebrate all of you, our graduates tonight. It's a global celebration, and we'll say a little more about that soon. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about us, SUNY, and tell you a little bit about why we so value the work that we do with all of you. At SUNY, we are 88,000 employees and more than 450,000 students on 64 campuses throughout the state of New York. This makes us the largest comprehensive system of higher education in the United States. If you live in New York, you are never more than 50 kilometers from a SUNY campus. 40% of the students who graduate from New York State secondary schools enroll at SUNY campuses. SUNY provides opportunity for tertiary education to New Yorkers as well as students from all 50 US states and more than 160 countries throughout the world. What attracted SUNY to AKU and what continues to draw us together? What continues to make this affiliation of ours grow year by year? I think we find our answer to that question in the Al Kafa'at University mission statement. I'm gonna read you that and see what you think. Al Kafa'at University is an inclusive, community-driven institution of higher learning which serves the diverse needs of the Lebanese people. It provides open access to education and empowers students through innovative academic programming and applied experiential learning. AKU prepares students for the real world, a requisite for success as active economic contribu contributors and members of a vibrant society. So clearly what draws us together is our shared fundamental commitment to open access to education for the betterment of the societies that we live in. SUNY is committed to providing open access to quality educational services for all students. This, in fact, is what the state of New York requires of us. It is our contribution to a prosperous and stable society. This is how we see SUNY's role in New York State, and this is clearly how Al Kafa'at sees its role in Lebanon. This commitment to societal growth through education is what binds us to one another. It is what makes us all work harder to reach that goal of a more prosperous and stable world through education. Now I'm gonna go back to that global theme that I mentioned earlier. At SUNY, as you heard earlier, it is my responsibility to work with our campuses in developing international linkages. Among our 64 campuses, we create programs for international students. We create programs for New York State students to study outside of the United States. We establish collaborative research activities and engage in development efforts. One of our major goals is to internationalize our campuses to benefit from knowledge from around the world, your knowledge, to make the educational services we serve better and more inclusive, and to give students the skills that they need to become productive members of a global society. AKU has clearly taken international uh, programs as a priority for their institution as well. And this is clear 
you see the evidence with the group that is gathered here today, from Holland, from Belgium, and from the United States. And it's clear that AKU has deep and abiding commitments to its relationships with Sunni and with our colleagues from, from Holland and from Belgium. AKU has convened professors, deans, and program managers from systems and organizations from several countries this week. And together, we will embrace new challenges with a focus on new programs, including the School of Health-Related Professions that you heard about. We will look at the most innovative and promising areas of healthcare development and create collaborative programming that will bring students, like all of you, together with students from various countries around the world. This is a remarkable moment for our partnership. We have achieved so much in these five years. We have built a foundation and a strong village of people, students, faculty, staff, and members of the education community. And now it's time to build pathways and bridges and we'll join you in this. We have a lot to learn from this partnership. What has occurred at AKU in a period of five years is something that we, as educators, do not often see. AKU is strengthening itself from the inside out. The enduring vision that was the driving force behind the establishment of this university has been the impetus for constant forward momentum always with a laser focus on how to serve all members of the community and to serve the greater good of Lebanon. Now that's enough about us. We want to talk about you, about the graduates. Because you're the reason we're here tonight. But the first thing I want to do is something that I would hope that you have already done, graduates, and that is I would like for all of us to thank your families. Thank you, parents, for guiding these wonderful young people. Without you, they would not have gotten here. And as I look around here tonight, and from my personal experience, because I also have children in universities at SUNY, I know that you have worked very hard to get your children where they are today. I can also see that you have a great deal to be proud of in these young people. But it's you, you're the ones that we wanna to talk to tonight because it's a momentous occasion in your life tonight. You have finished university and you now join the ranks of the educated. By conferring the degrees that you will receive tonight, we are telling you that you're now ready to go out and make your contribution to this world. And that's what I'd like to speak to you about. About what does that mean, your contribution? Euripides said it simply, there is just one life for each of us, and that is yours. It is now time for you to live your life. To do so, you will need to understand yourself, your abilities, your values, your unique talents, and your passions. I was not born into wealth, so I have always needed to work to support myself and my family. Most of us find ourselves in similar circumstances. Those of us who have the advantage of a good education are very fortunate. 
And while the vast majority of us work because we need to, work does not only feed our bellies. It feeds our souls. Or, if not carefully selected, it leaves our souls hungry. Khalid Gibran, who spent a great deal of time in my country and whose work is very much admired in my country, had this to say. Work is love made visible. If you cannot work with love, but only with distaste, it is better that you should leave your work and sit at the gate of the temple and take alms of those who work with joy. Working